Good afternoon, John and Triska. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as you may know, uh, this, this session is entirely voluntary and both of you can leave at any given point. Um, to, introduce my, uh, to introduce myself, my name is Matthew Hayden and I'll be fulfilling the role of the mediator today. Um, my role as a mediator, mediator today is not to come up with solutions, but to push you towards um, uh, developing solutions on your own terms. Um, as such, I will not be a judge in this matter. Um, the aim of today's session is to devolve into the respective issues and try to establish a rational solution. So we'll, we'll be looking into the, the basis of your conflict and means to resolve it through negotiation between you two. Um, so, like I said, I'm not a judge, but however, I will guide you to, uh, and provide positive input when necessary. Um, as such, mediation involves a dialogue between you two, and I, I, I ask you two to please be respectful towards each other and towards each other's interests. Um, thank you, and then uh, the outcome of this, or the step outcome of this mediation depends on your, on your, two, to, uh, on your two to cooperation. To start off proceedings today, uh, I please invite John to, start, uh, to share your concerns with us. Good afternoon, Matthew. Thank you for helping us today. Uh, the main issue for me is the, limita the limiting and restriction of my contact with the children. The reason for this limitation is because of over exaggeration claim made by Priska that I have history of alcohol abuse, as well as having an affair. They claim that I'm an alcoholic, it is, they claim that I'm an alcoholic is ridiculous. I admit that I do drink do, during the week, but it's never a daily thing. It may involve having after work drinks with my colleagues once, maybe twice a, a week at most. In, edi in, addition, in addition to this, I never have, I have more than three drinks and always get home before 7 p.m. So the claim of alcohol abuse is clearly an, an exaggeration. I want, I want the best for my boys and having their father in their life in, in, in a regular fashion is only in their best interest. Thanks, John. Um, Priska, can you please share your interest with us or your concerns? Hi, Matthew. Like John mentioned, I have serious concerns with his drinking habits, which I have reached, which I have reached an abuse of it. His claims of only drinking once or twice a week go nowhere, as well as him saying that he's always home by 7 pm. His personality changes when he's been drinking. I am scared of him potentially becoming violent. This is why I wanted to restrict contact with our children, uh, of our children with John, to that of supervised contact, because as a mother, I need to ensure that my children are safe, as well as the fact that no tool a child deserves of their age ages um, to be made to sit at a bar after school. On top of Kelvin suffering from a variety of diseases and disorders that require a lot of attention and which John doesn't provide. In addition to this, I have been a stable home in order to take care of the needs of Kelvin, but this has put me in a difficult financial position and it requires some degree of support from John to meet the needs of our children. Thank you both. It becomes clear that both of your issues are connected with your children. John, you believe that it is in the best interest of your boys to have regular and normal contact with them. Uh, and, um, and this has been restricted due to over-exaggerated claims made by Prisca. Prisca, you believe that John's contact with your children should be restricted to supervised contact because you believe that John has a history of alcohol abuse um, and the nature of, of this is what brings, uh, and the nature of this is not in the best interest of your children. You additionally express the need uh, for Calvin to provide, uh, to provide uh, uh, spousal support and as well as to meet the requirements of Calvin who has special needs. Um, John, please can you let me know what you say about this? I have, I have Triska's concerns and I, I, I don't believe them to be what she makes them to be. Like I said, her claims of drinking problem are, a, are exaggerated as well as a fear of me becoming potentially violent as I have no previous record of it. With regards to the needs of Kelvin, I have not been yet been given an opportunity to respond to them due to the fact that I've, I have I, I had my rights to, call, to contact with Kelvin limited through the claims of Christa. The drinking habits of John undoubtedly exceed that of a regular person. And I need to be assured that, we, that the well-being of my children will not be put in stake because of this. This includes changes in mood brought on by alcohol, 
the risks of drinking and driving, as well as the prejudicial consequences of children, um, for children of having them around bars at young ages. Apart from this, John has no knowledge of what health requires um, for his disability and has shown no previous interest in the past. And because of this, it is in the best interest of my child that he has his needs taken care of by myself and with supervised visitation when John is in the Briscoe, you have highlighted your intention for John's visitation of your children to be supervised. Can you please explain the reasoning for this? The reasoning is because I've seen how John can change personalities when he drinks. And as, um, and as a mother, I need assurance that their safety will be maintained when no one else is around. For this reason, supervised visitation is the best option. Briscoe, have you given any thought to what... Um, to it, like, Sorry, Prisca, have you given any thought to who would act as supervisor in these situations? Ideally, I would like a supervisor to have some degree of background with psychology or children welfare. Um, for, for such visits to take place within a safe setting, such as school sports events or meals with, within the school cafe. In hearing the wishes of Prisca, uh, would you, John, consider these requests to be reasonable? Uh, I feel like they need to have an outside third party present during my contact with the children. It is taking it is taking things to the extreme, as I have no history of violence. And I like uh, and like I have said, reject reject the the claim of alcohol abuse. I feel like having an outside third party during my contact with the, with my children will only impact their perception of me and therefore can only harm our relationship. John, I hear your concerns, but if there are any steps that we can take towards resolving this issue, like would having a person you know, um, who's known to both of you, to act as a supervisor, would this make things better? Ultimately, I would not want any supervision, uh, supervised visitation. I would definitely consider a family member for this role. John, we understand your concerns, but would a family member as a supervisor reduce your um, concerns regarding contact with your children? Yes, it will definitely will. I am willing to, co to compromise with, supervi to, 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 to a supervisor, which, in, which is from my side of the family, but only if it is not required for an extended time period. I would be to either of John's parents acting as supervisor, but uh, but the period for which they are needed will have to be determined by John's ability to prove to me that he's a responsible parent and doesn't have a problem with alcohol. This is a step in the right direction, and the best interest of the child is always the most important issue at hand. And this is clear from both your intentions. Priska, um, you say you wish from John to prove his sobriety to you. How would you intend him to do this, and for how long? I would like him to attend AA courses to help him with these issues as well as further reassurance that my children will not be spending time in the bar. As for the duration of this, I would need to see a positive outcome from the AA sessions. John, Prisca has put forward a means to meet your concerns. What are your thoughts on these proposals? Uh, as I have said previously, I do not have a problem with alcohol. I do not intend on going to AA session as this is excessive and damaging to my reputation. I would be willing to provide breathalyzer tests to her at, a random, at random, as well as assurance that my children will not be spending time at the bar, which can easily be proved through phone calls to myself or Marvin, who I am willing to get a phone just for this, for this purpose. I agree to breathalyzer tests, as long as John covers these expenses, and as long as he actually conducts his test as promised. With regards to the cell phone, I am in full support of this, but this must also be paid for by God.